Hey guys and welcome back. So today I thought of doing a log cabin house. This house is also inspired by a photo. I actually saw this photo from Pinterest and it kind of attracted me to want to try to build this house. I kind of went back and forth for the size of the house because I want to make it look more decently sized. I don't want it to seem so big. I can't believe how many times that I changed the size of this house, expanding it and making it back small again. I think I chose this window was probably because that this window has the color swatches like inside of the window like the panels which I find it quite match with the photo I was looking at. There is a small space in front of the house and I did replicate that small area and I find that this house is just too big when it's compared to the photo. The house in the photo just look so small but the house in this build just look so big like it don't it don't look like a small cozy house then i tried to use the items from the outdoor retreat and then i wanted to do that uh chimney at the side there it's a small narrow chimney and the roof actually like pass through the chimney so i kind of follow that vibe I did find that the roof was actually covering the front part of the house too, like the front part of the front yard. So I kind of like resized the house again, just the roof, the house, so that the roof can cover the front part of the house. But at the end of resizing it, the size went quite well. It's like a very decent size. It looks more appropriate. To make this little rock chimney, I had to like move the roof first because if not, I can't really place the chimney. It will clip on the roof. So I had to like move the roof before and place the chimney before like I'll put back the roof. And then I make this chimney like whole fully rock. I wanted to choose a red roof but I didn't want it to look like so bright red and I ended up choosing something more like a brick some a bit of brown color roof then I wanted to use the outdoor retreat wallpaper but then at first I thought like the wood the log wallpaper was like a bit too thick so I chose the base game one but then I ended up feeling like probably a different swatch of the outdoor retreat log wallpaper makes it like better so i ended up using the outdoor retreat and i totally love it and i didn't paint the second floor wallpaper with the same one because i wanted to get something different so i leave it empty first and i did the roof trim instead by the end i did got another wall wood wallpaper from the outdoor retreat which i find it quite matching at least it's not the same but it makes a little sense to it I placed a cobble on the second floor or the attic and I extended the roof to cover the cobble a bit and I literally just google about cobble to talk about this cobble thing. I can't believe how much effort that I spent on comparing the fence to find a fence that is matching that I want. I wanted the green to stand out more like the photo so I kind of changed the color of the door and the windows and the second floor window doesn't have that color swatch so I can't believe I spent 5 minutes changing the windows and choosing the windows at the second floor just to find a window that's matching Fun fact, I placed a fence at the side just because I can't find the matching stairs railing and I placed the fence there just to like compare which one is the correct stair railing now let's put some floor, roof floorings 
And then our exterior is finally done. I wanted to fit in uh, stars a little badly, probably because like stars are more toddler friendly. But with such a small house, I think probably um, ladders would be a better choice. Putting a ladder to the second floor makes the second floor look more like an attic. But since the second floor is so small, I think it kind of makes sense being just like a small attic with a ladder going up I'm moving on to the layout because this house is like quite small there's not much way to like lay out the house and it's especially square you can't really like or maybe I can't really like lay anywhere else it's more like there will be four rooms it's just that I want to use like each room for which function instead of like where to put them but I guess the final layout kind of makes sense. I kind of like it. It's just that the bedroom is really small because like the whole house itself is like so small. There's only like one bathroom and two bedrooms, like two skinny bedrooms, which I can only fit a bed and a dresser. But considering that it's a rent a lot, I think it doesn't really matter to really have so much things in the bedroom because like I guess in the vacation what you'll need is probably just like sleep in the bedroom you're not gonna like park in the bedroom right I tried to make the whole house green in most of the furnitures but I did try to make two of the bedrooms with two different wood type one is like a bit reddish but the other one was a bit like pale brown color and I try to use most of the outdoor retreat items, so I put two different baits. Oh yeah, I did move the ladders too because like, if previously the ladder was next to the wall, I can't place a door and there's like no more, no more other place to put the door, so I had to like move the ladder. But it doesn't really matter because like that area serves more like a entrance area. I was trying to put on the wallpaper and then at first I did like the wallpaper was following the wood structure or wood color of the room and then I used like the same wooden flooring and the same uh, wallpaper but then I feel like it looks so weird although the colors are matching I mean like the wallpaper and the floorings are matching but it looks so weird so I kind of ended up changing it and I use more of a basic ones because I feel like it's a bit over for the outdoor retreat floorings and the wallpapers and I kind of feel the basic one matches well it gives more of the log cabin vibe for the interior probably the outdoor retreats one are more suitable for the exterior and I kind of use most of this fridge and stove probably because these two are the only like antique style appliances I don't really feel that these countertops fit the vibe that I'm going for but this is like the best I could get from the base game and the outdoor retreat I didn't want to place the fireplace at the same place with the chimney but you can see that all the fireplaces are like at least two tiles wide I come from a one tile wide fireplace so I put the fire pit instead and I sunk the chimney a bit and I did try I mean like I did play test it with the slims I mean my sims and it's definitely functioning but my sim burned herself I'm not sure if it's because of the enclosed space or because of she just probably don't have that skill but at least I tested that it's functioning at first I didn't want to add a TV but then 
the place is just too small, especially when there's this fireplace there. So I can't really fit a TV. Like I can't center it with the sofa. So I ended up not placing a TV. I really went back and forth with the wallpaper so much and I think I ended up choosing like one of these base game one which is like not fully wooden wallpaper because like probably I wanna make the living room a bit more like more modern feel, like a bit nicer. And the interior doesn't fit the dining table. So I kind of moved the dining table outside and I kind of like it because considering that you're going for a vacation and then like the idea of like having a meal outside instead of like normally when you are camping or like when we are camping we usually have a meal outside so like in this case we have a house so we're still eating outside it's just that we have a more covered place for us to have our meal and then I like it that the other side has a small bench like you can sit there and like talk a bit and then lastly I think the house is like almost done so I'm kind of like looking through the outer retreat build items and like trying to place them down I do think that this outdoor retreat have some really nice build items like their build items kind of match around you can like just place everything in and they kind of just match and there is a lot of these wooden build items like decorations and all which makes it nice or maybe just because I like these wooden decorations and I especially like that we have this like hook oil lamp on a trunk just like beside the dining table I just feel it's like so romantic not like romantic but it gives you that camping vibe like when you're having a meal outside and then you have this like lamp there hanging and I really like this all these like small decoration and clutter items it just really gives you that camping feel like really that outdoor retreat feel this whole house was built based on the concept that or like the mindset that this is a rental lot so I kind of put a lot of those signboard and everything to make it look more like a commercial type and I really like the whole feel like you can have those like cooler box and everything like nearby so that you have that feel like um, really that camping feel just that you have a proper house to camp which makes our camping life more easier so I also did this like I totally forget about the fact that I actually have a second floor which I totally proceed to the landscape I'll try to use like the outdoor retreat trees too most of them are pine trees and I think I ended up using a normal tree instead of a pine tree and the landscape was a bit different with the common landscapes like the common houses landscape because like this landscape are more tree oriented like the landscape are done like based on the tree built there and it's like more grown all over the place instead of like previously growing on a certain spot and making it nice it's more like naturally grown and I like putting some bushes around it but yeah, this tree was a bit like more properly take care because like there's it's more organized and there's like a bit of some stones I put around the landscape to make it look like it was properly purposely like beautify it. Although there's like a lot of bushes around or like a lot of grasses around it. But I still think like the landscapes from outdoor retreats are also like nice they are like you can really put into use 
I finally find a place to like use this sink because there's actually two sink in the outer retreat and I used one in the toilet, in the bathroom and I managed to fit the other one in the kitchen. One thing is that this house doesn't really need to worry about the lights that are not enough bright, those ceiling lights that are not bright because like outdoor retreat comes with a lot of like table lamps or like a lot of stand lamps, some really pretty lamps as decorations. They are like decoration lamps so it's like you can just place this lamp anywhere and it just brightens the whole house. Like the whole house is just full of all types of lamps. I finally remember the second floor. So the second floor I added it into like some storeroom and also a little bit of some like a secret hideout for the kids if they wanna like come up and play. There's like a bit of like furniture, not like furniture, but a little bit of like storage cases like just in case when the family comes and they have like no place to put their things then they can just like place their things up on top or like um, the house owner just like place some extra toiletry or stuff on top so like if the customers or like those uh, clients they want those people who come for a vacation they can like they need those items they can just take it up so like for the second floor serves as like a storeroom and a small extra room like just in case there's more than four person and they don't have any place to sleep like at least there's another bed upstairs i find it interesting to have this game table at indoor and like an entryway for like they have some things to do i wanted to put this grill so badly because like it's a camping and I didn't fit it like outside of the house, like not on the front yard. So this is basically the house. Then we have like the signboards in front and like a small like um, walkway. Then we have the front yard. We have the, like, the dining table on top in front here with that lamppost. Then we have like a chest table and a sitting area. Then we have this like um, stone flooring toilet but there's both of these are from the other retreat the bath and the um, sink so these two rooms are like really small I just fit like uh, two double beds and there are not much other things inside the room I think this room is smaller than this room like one tile like shorter I guess then we have like the gaming table in, in the walkway then we have like the living room um, a fire just happened so the probably just burn off the carpet and yeah you can see like it's not supposed to be like there's supposed to be a carpet the carpet just burn off just now then um, we have a this small open kitchen and then we move on to our second floor um so this bed is like movable so you can actually like, put in the inventory and like place it down there downstairs or anywhere like put inside a tent or something okay. like if there are more sims that, that comes and there's no place to sit they can just like move it out there's a lot of like more freedom to this house and then like the kids can just play here and then they have like there's one small chair like a secret hideout with some lamps and some like a small storeroom to place like stuff and everything so the house is basically like this a very simple and small house. Comparing the inspired photo with the actual build, it's probably a bit different, but overall I'm quite satisfied with the build. And I think that's all, so thank you guys for watching.